Now it's time to meet the vapor man. Mm-hmm. He's he's, he's going to vape all over he's us. He's going to vape a lot this week. And also leave the fog machine on. Yes. Definitely don't do that. Nope. But they will call the fire department on you. Uh, hello, fire wo- department's just Inuyasha. <laughs> yes. Hello, welcome to this week's episode. Jared now watch Inuyasha is episode 106. I'm Jared, joined as always by Doc Ow and Lady M. Hello. We are discussing season four, episode 22, or episode 104, entitled The Stealthy Poison Master Mukotsu. Very Poison. stealthy. He's, is he stealthy? I don't I don't think so. <laughs> I, mm. Most of this episode, he's kind of right in front of everyone. <laughs> yeah, he's just... Sure. Stealthy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we kick things off as we ended last week's episode with Inuyasha and Jakotsu fighting, and then Mukotsu's like, here's some poison for y'all. <laughs> Jakotsu's like, I gotta go, bye. Y'all should probably get out of that. Yeah, burns his little foot. Yep. Uh, they split up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Inuyasha goes after Jakotsu to find him to try and find Araku, and Moroku looks after Kagome, Shango, Songo, and Shippo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jokotsu and Murkotsu, uh meet up and they're like, hey, we're going to do this thing where I'm going to fight Inuyasha and you go get Kagome because she's got the jewel shards. Okay, cool. Go team go. Go team go. Uh, we meet another one of the band of seven, Renkotsu, who goes to a temple and then kills all the monks. He's like, I, this temple is very cool. I will also take these clothes from you. <laughs> yeah, he steals his clothes. Yay. Yay! Uh, Kagome and Shippo find a well, and then they find a bunch of dead bodies near it. I'm like, whoa, it's weird. And then, oh no, poison gas. <laughs> like, not noticing that it was all around them this whole time, and that there were just dead bodies everywhere, and they're just like, whoa. They were very hard to see, clearly. Is so hard to see? <laughs> uh, yeah, but Kotsu's like, here's my poison gas that will paralyze the human body. Doesn't but do anything to Shippo, honest. though. Except yeah. for the, the he hits him with his own poison gas and then punts him. Uh, Zongo and Moroku show up and try to help, but then they just disappear. Yep. Shippo goes on his little horsey to find Inuyasha to be like, hey, we got to go get Kagome. But uh, Bukotsu now has Kagome, and he's like... <laughs> the whole time. There's so much laughing this episode. There is a whole lot of laughing this episode. You are right. Uh, you know, not from us, from from the characters. Yes, uh, Inuyasha and Jakotsu get into another fight, and then Kagome is in Bukotsu's weird floating hut or whatever. It's surrounded by poison gas, and now he's going to marry Kagome, and she's like, "Mary, I'm going Aww. to get married." <laughs> he's like, you know, people tend to think that I'm really ugly, but. You don't think that. It's great. He's like, whoa. Oh. Okay. He kind of looks like a frog. <laughs> uh, Inuyasha is not having a good time in his fight, and then uh, Shippo shows up, and he's like, hey, we got to go. Kagome's been kidnapped. And he's like, all right, let's go. And then Shippo f- flings a flings the horse at Jokotsu, and then Jokotsu is covered in a bunch of mushrooms and is very upset. <laughs> then also laugh. <laughs> yes, they do also <laughs> laugh. Um. Kagome realizes that uh, Mukotsu has the sh- jewel shard in his neck and she's mm-hmm. trying to figure out a way to get it uh, while Songo and Moroku show up to, to rescue them, but then they get enveloped by a poison that you know conveniently enters through the skin and the eyes that renders them useless. Yep. Uh, and then Kagome stabs him in the throat and Mikotsu's like, or she's like, did I do it? And Mikotsu's like, slap. <laughs> you can't be my bride. <laughs> And then he starts choking starts her. trying to, like, strangle her, yeah. She's messed up. And then out also, of the... Also, question. Sorry. Yes, go ahead. Did she stab him with chopsticks? I think so. It looked like chopsticks. Yeah. Me. She was just trying to, like, chopstick the, the shirt off. Which, like, gal, you, you, can, you can detect them. You're the only one who can detect them. If anybody can chopstick the jewel shard out of a neck, it's gotta be you. And you still forked it up. Well, she's also very weak from getting poisoned. There's that too. Okay. Anyway, um, he he's doing the strangling, and then here's Sh- here's Seshimaru. 
he just shows up. Uh, we Maybe. saw he, we saw him earlier in the episode with his his band, and they're like trying to find Araku, of course, because Sashimaru still has a score to settle. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, he shows up here and is like, <laughs> and this guy and Makoto's like, "Who are you?" And Sashimaru's like, "Do you hey, do you know where Naraku is? Also, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are." Yeah, I don't know you. Also, he attacked him like with his claws. Yeah, so. <laughs> he's already bleeding. Um, Mikosu tries to get away, and Sashimaru's like, "All right, I guess I'm gonna go after you. Uh, would you like to tell me where Naraku is?" And Mikosu's like, "No, don't kill me. Blah, here's a cool gas for you." And Sashimaru's just like, "Yeah, this doesn't do anything. Here's a, I want to chop you in half, and you're gonna be all bones." All I right. do think it's funny that uh, Mikosu's like, "Why would you kill somebody you don't even know?" <laughs> Sashimaru's just like, "Eh, eh whatever. But yeah, Whatevs. just turns into a little little pile of bones." A little bee comes and is like, I'll take this shard, thank you. <laughs> Boo, this is mine. Yeah, immediately after that, Inuyasha and Shippo show up. And Shippo's like, oh my god, they're all dead. <laughs> and Inuyasha sees Sashimaru there, of course, and he's like... Well, the best part is also uh, Sashimaru was looking for Inuyasha. Because mm-hmm. he, he shows up and asks that. And I, right before that, I was like, he's just going to ask, like, where's my idiot brother? And then he says, where's Inuyasha? <laughs> yep. This is very good. Uh, but Inuyasha sees Sashimaru there and is like... What did you do? And then Kikomi's like, no, he saved us. And he's like, no I, no, I didn't save you. I just came here for information regarding Naraku. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Conveniently, I was able to, you know, kill that guy who was trying to yeah, murder you he was a scrub. <laughs> yeah, so, um, um, you know, not helping you or anything. But yeah, Idiot basically was like, yeah, we don't know where Naraku is, but he revived these dudes to come after us, so that's all the information we got. And Sushima was like, all right, cool. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for the info exchange, bro. Gotta go. Bye. Uh, Ren and Jockin are hanging out, waiting for Sashimaru, and Ren sees Kohaku pass in the distance. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we see a shot of Renkotsu and Jakotsu chit-chatting about how what's going on and everything. Jakotsu can't do math. Can't do the math, and they're also trying to figure out who Naraku is, and they learn, or we learn that only the big brother has met Naraku. Uh, mm-hmm. Inuyasha has left Kagome, Songo, and Moroku by a waterfall to get the gas out because apparently Kagome had an antidote of some sure. sort. And then also... Yeah, somehow she had an antidote. And also another band of seven, Broda, is coming to fight them. Mm-hmm. Which will probably happen next episode. So there's that. I mean, based on the preview, it looks like that's what's going to happen next episode. But yeah, that's the end of this episode. We have one note here. Mm-hmm. When Inuyasha finds out that Sashimaru saved the group, definitely didn't save the group, what are you talking about? Nope. He willingly shares information and gratitude. This is the first time Inuyasha defers to his brother for any reason. Not wrong. Yeah. Um, side note, I mentioned because I went to his wiki, um, the the trivia for uh, Mikotsu is that the marks on his face mean a poison. Um, and that he is one of only two of the members of the Band of Seven who do not get their own individual theme music in the Inuyasha official soundtrack. This is most likely due to the fact that they're both killed quickly after being introduced. Bodied. So, scrub. Big scrubs. Uh, but yeah, next week we'll be discussing episode 105. It's called The Ghastly Steel Machine. We are going to meet Ginkotsu. And do a little fighting. Pew, pew, pew. That's just what happens. Yep. But that's, uh, that's going to do it for us this week. So if you'd like more from us, head on over to SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com or SAC.cool is where you can find past episodes of this podcast and other podcasts like Seasonal Anime Checkup OVA. You can also find columns and reviews on the site as well. If you'd like more from Ann Ladium, go to AnnLadium.com. She's got columns and reviews. You can follow us on Twitter and TikTok at Anime Checkup. You can follow us on Blue Sky at SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com. You can buy our books, One Shine Moment, a critical analysis of Love by Sunshine, Hot Tubs, and Pac-Man on Amazon.com. So join us next week as we meet a big robot... Frankenstein's monster-looking feller. Yay!